building by accord um beyond judicial clearance the central vista should be able to achieve the national consensus so beyond judicial clearance uh, so what actually is happening is uh, is that um, the central government or, or the modi government um, it is trying to build a new parliament for um, for our country india uh, and it got away with it um, it it, um, it got the judicial clearance or it got the judicial approval um, or it got the approval by the court the central vista should be able to achieve the national consensus but what the other is say, uh, what the other is saying is that um, the um, the approval by the approval by the court is not um, is not necessary they should all they should also have the approval um, from the public um, from the from the citizens with the supreme court's two month judgment clearing the central vista project for new delhi the, the narendra modi government can now indelibly reshape the national the, the national capital's visual landscape um, so as i said um, the supreme uh, the, the supreme court has approved the construction of the new parliament um and um, and because of that um the central government or the modi government it could uh, um, it, it could start its construction it, it could start its construction of the new parliament justice um, justice a um, am kanvilkar and dinesh maheshwari found no infirmity in approvals granted by the central vista committee delhi urban art commission um, the heritage the heritage conservation committee and other bodies paving the way for the new parliament uh, new parliament building and other edifices of the government to come up so everyone has approved the construction of the new parliament no or not a single one um, not a single one um, not not a single one that we know uh, as an official authority has declined the uh, has declined the construction of the new parliament so this is obviously a good news um, as the government could um, could move further and could be, um, and build the new parliament but justice sanjeev kanna while agreeing with the majority opinion on the call for the bid for the bid award and decision of the urban commission dissented on the key issue of the public participation in the entire access which vitiated the endorsement of land use of of land use change so um while every um, while everyone has agreed um, a person um, a, a person just uh, San, sanjeev sanjeev kanna so even mr sanjeev kanna has agreed but um he has he has a minor objection he says that it would it would be much better um if even the public had part if even the public participates um in this approval um in uh, in this um, in this in this approving order so even if the so even if the public is okay with this um even so even if even if the citizens of india are okay with this then this would be a really good idea to go with governments should naturally be free to plan policies and programs on behalf of the people with no prior restraint but subject to judicial review to ensure accountability so if the government wants to do anything um, it needs um, it um, it it needs the assent of two it it needs the consent of two people one is the public or we um, it is uh, the gan the government needs the consent of um, of the citizens and um, and, it, and and then it, and then it needs the consent of um, and in, then it needs the consent of the court for accountability judged against this principle the center uh, the center is simply exercising its privilege to plan a new set of buildings to house its establishment and federal legislature while the final cost estimate is unclear planned by um, unclear planned expenditures are in excess of 13 of 13450 crores Uh, for among other things a new central secretariat vice presidents and clave and prime ministers residence besides 971 crore rupees for the new parliament um so um so, uh, so the new construction um, it, the, the new construction it, it doesn't only um, it not it not only includes the construction of only parliament it also includes many other things and and they gave a list of those things here um presidents and the, the prime minister's residence uh, and so on um this the estimated cost of all this is 13 um, is more than 13000 crores um uh, while a new parliament only costs 1000 crores of that and the remaining uh, and the rem- um, and the re- and the remaining and the remaining um, and the remaining 12000 crores um, are for uh, are for other things with the national consensus such a colossal plan might be a crowning achievement for the 75th anniversary of independence in 
so such a great building um, such um, here they use the word edifice so edifice normally means basically means uh, a great building um, an impressive building so the construction of such an impressive building um, it uh, everyone would be happy with it mainly uh, mainly because of the 75th anniversary uh, mainly because of 70, 75th anniversary of indian independence in 2021 so the construction will start that day what is germane to the question however is it appropriateness in a year of un unprecedented disruption due to covid-19 so while all of this is good and well um, the german to the question means the relative question um, um, the question which is relative to this time is that is, um, does the government near uh, does the government really need to build such a great edifice which cost uh, which cost about uh, which cost more than 13000 crores is it really necessary mainly mainly in this uh, mainly in, mainly in this post period of the uh, post world post world um, post world of post world which is affected by covid-19 is it really necessary this is when an elected government must give its undivided attention to schemes for the common weal and not be tempted into extravagant indulgence so the author is saying that um, um so this is the time uh, the the time the time after the covid-19 pandemic it's not um, the time of the day, the time after the covid-19 pandemic the other the other is referring to that time and he's saying that um, this time should be the time for the government where it needs to observe where, where it needs to research everything uh, and help the people uh, with, with their loss which has um, with their loss um, with their loss because of the covid-19 and it should not be spending so much money uh, on an on an um, on an edifice it may be good uh, it may be good for the country but not at this time the the government should not be um, the government should not be constructing such great edifices of such huge cost at this time when um, when 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 all the citizens around all over india need um, are in the need, are in the need of help as justice kanna has pointed out public consultation in a democracy in a democracy requires citizens to be able to access the project's rational armed with information on the official reasoning and with sufficient time at the disposal so the other second saying um, is again referring to um, mr kanna he is saying that mr kanna mr kanna definitely has a point even the public uh, even the public should have an consent um, in this um, um, in the um, in the system uh, so india india which is a democratic country should also do, um, should also should also consider the consent of its um, of its citizens so um, mr kanna and the other and the other are saying that um, um, the uh, the people or we or the citizens should be given enough time to decide what they want the sense of their view should inform the uh, should inform the final decision and of um, and and we are and when we are and when we are ready with our uh, uh, when we are ready with our decision um, we, we can let the government know and then uh, that will be considered as the as the final decision opportunities for pu for public consultation already incorporated into modern laws and also in the delhi development act in no in no way fit of the executive so um, as i said um, india is a democratic country um, in which even the public even in which even the um, public uh, uh, public have some opportunities um, in the government issues so um, and and actually that is indeed true because um, uh, re recently there has been a um, there has been a new law known as the delhi development act um, in in which um, in um, in which public consent is given a major role and there are also many many more modern law, uh, many more modern laws in um, in in which the public cons consent plays a major role so we could say that in, um, india um, india did a india did a pretty good job in that it would be appropriate therefore for the center to attempt consensus building on central vista without showing uh, undue anxiety and haste in taking up all the planned structures together the pandemic scores points to uncertainty on restoration of the economic health ameliorating the damage of large, uh, to large sectors of the economy especially in the services so the other is um, he is repeating all of this again he uh, he is basically saying that um, the government right now after the time of the of the, after the time of the pandemic covid 19 the government should be giving more importance to the people who are in help and not to some edifice um, while building the edifice is very um, is uh, is very welcome um, but the, it, uh, but but, uh, but uh, currently it's not it, it's not the perfect time to do so in the run up to 
in the run-up to 2022, the government will be tested on its ability to ensure good health for all citizens, revive uh, normative education, and provide stronger welfare. So, from this period, uh, so, 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 the pre- so the period between now and 2022 will be a period of challenge for the government beca- because it needs to do many things. It needs to re- um, it it needs to revive the economic conditions of uh, uh, of India, which is uh, which is already restoring itself automatically. But still, uh, but still, the government it still needs to do, it still needs to do some work. It also needs to ensure the safety um, and he- especially health safe health safety for everyone in India until two thousand twenty two. Prioritizing central vista can prove to be a distraction from the task. So as I said, um, the period between uh, the period between th- this day and two thousand twenty two is a period of challenge for the government, and the construction um, of this great edifice, um, the, the the new parliament. While it could be a great thing, it may, um, in this time it majorly play, plays the role of a great distraction uh, to the challenging task which the government has in its hand right now. Thank you.